10. minus 10. 9. 8. We should have ignition. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. And... Liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Delta IV Heavy Rocket with NROL-71 for the National Reconnaissance Office. Right, vehicles beginning the pitch over maneuver. You are hearing the voice of Patrick Moore providing launch vehicle ascent data. Now 20 seconds into flight, seeing good chamber pressure across all three R-68A engines. Now 30 seconds into flight. And core boosters beginning to throttle down to the partial thrust mode as expected. Core boosters reach partial thrust. Now 46 seconds into flight. seconds into flight under the power of 5.1 million pounds of thrust Falcon Heavy is headed to space we're throttling down at T plus 40 seconds to prepare for maximum dynamic pressure power and telemetry are nominal
five, four, three, two, one. Engines full power. And lift off Falcon 9. Go Axiom. One Alpha. <laughs> Copy, one Alpha. Together we expand what Two is possible in reach. low Earth orbit. Add Astra and Godspeed Take AX2. Plus 36, second, 36 seconds into flight. A great view of Falcon 9 heading to space. Power telemetry is nominal. A Stage great one call throttle out. down. Power telemetry nominal. We're into the throttle bucket. Is the first stage is throttle down power on the Merlin engines in preparation for max Q. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, unité. Top. Allumage moteur Vulcan. Allumage UAP et top décollage. Les paramètres bons sont conformes à l'attendu. local time and right on time you saw it Ariane 5 began her mission roaring off from the ground here in French Guiana with a lot of fire going up through the thin cloud layer we had so much rain today we didn't think we'd have any visibility at all but look at her go she's carrying two satellites two new telecom satellites the two boost firing chain is armed 15. go for main engine start T-10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, all three engines up and burning, 2, 1, 0, and liftoff, the final liftoff of Atlantis on the shoulders of the space shuttle, America will continue the dream. Roger roll, Atlantis. Houston now controlling the flight of Atlantis. The space shuttle spreads its wings one final time for the start of a sentimental journey into history. 24 seconds into the flight, roll program complete. Atlantis now heads down, wings level on the proper alignment for its eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Four and a half million pounds of hardware and humans taking aim on the International Space Station. 40 seconds into the flight, the three liquid fuel main engines throttling back to 72% of rated performance in the bucket, reducing stress on the shuttle as it goes transonic for the final time. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We have ignition and liftoff of Titan IV B39 and DSP-22. Titan IV has cleared the tower. Roll program has been initiated. Roll program has completed and the pitch program has taken over. The vehicle is headed to its proper flight azimuth. We are at launch plus 37 seconds. Vehicle continuing to perform very well. The fifth Saturn 1B flight vehicle, designated AS-205, was launched on October 11th from Launch Complex 34 of the Kennedy Space Center, placing the first manned Apollo spacecraft, Apollo 7, into Earth orbit. AS-205 performed flawlessly, as it lifted astronauts Walter Schirra, Don Isley, and Walter Cunningham to what would be an almost 11-day stay in space. The vehicle's first or S-1B stages propulsion and mechanical systems operated very satisfactorily, within 0.2% of predicted performance values. This included the fuel pressurization, liquid oxygen pressurization, control pressure, and engine systems. 
Stage separation occurred at 145.5 seconds after liftoff, only about one second beyond predicted time. Thank <laughs> you.